Hey everyone, David C. Anderson from the Knife Center coming at you from Blade Show 2023. We're here taking a look at some of Boker's new lineup uh, that they're, they've brought to the show to show us here. I'm here with Karsten. How are yeah. you, sir? Doing good. How are you? Doing good. Always good, good to see you. Yeah. Um, thanks for getting the, the nice quiet room yeah. for us yeah. here. Yeah. Um, let's jump into it because we've got a lot of stuff. Um, all this stuff should be hitting uh, the Knife Center in the next couple of months, August, yeah. September, uh, is the, the rough timeline we're looking at for uh, for all of this. So not a huge wait uh, on all of this stuff. Let's start with yeah. some new Lucas Burnley. Some new Lucas Burnley, um, an old friend of us, mm -hmm. great great partner. Um, well, the Quaken, I don't have to, I think, <laughs> to mention uh, um, what kind of success this, uh, this model is. A lot of variants uh, on the market already, long time seller, but now a new approach, I think really a different approach. All black um, with the dagger style um, blade. Um, that's why it's called the Quake and Sim. Um, 154 cm blade. Um, well, the same action that you know, right? Um, cool. Cool quality, yeah. cool design. Nice so, and crisp. Yeah, yeah, it definitely has really that, that that quake and styling. Like I, I picked it up off the table and it's like, oh yeah, is this a, another, is this a Burnley? He's like, yeah, 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 it is. So yeah, definitely maintains that new spin, like you said, single edged uh, on the blade, even though it's the, the dagger style. Yeah. So you get, that, you get that piercing and then basically the top acts just like a big giant swedge. So you yeah. remove that friction on the end. So gonna be a really yeah. efficient daily user, I think. Yeah. Very cool. Did we have a, a price point on price this point yet? Price point 219. 219. Very cool. Yep. All right. A couple more Burnleys to get to. Here's Correct. one. Yep. Smaller compact design. Uh, totally other price point. Um, talking about 52. Um, uh, the bend. Um, it's, yeah, we get a lot of requests for smaller compact designs. Um, GFN scale. You know, some, some nice blue. Um, color points here to the clip um, and the ring, the liners. So is that a titanium clip on the back, or um, at that price point, I'm not sure. No, but I, I doubt it. No, it's it's a it's a metal. But the milled, but the milled clip is nice at that price point clip. for sure. Correct. Yeah. Very cool. So very happy about that one. Yeah. D2 blade. Yep. D2 blade. It's about what two and a half inches or so. Yeah. Yeah, that's a cool little shape. Nice little utility style. It's kind of eh, three and a three three and a half fingers, depending on your on your hand size. I would say. What, what hand size? Yeah. Uh, and this is a assisted opening. Yes. So, flipper and the uh, the dual thumb disc there. So very cool. Yeah. All right, and then the third and final Burnley we're going to take a look at today is probably going to going to steal the show here. Yeah. And that's it for, already has. It's, <laughs> it, it's it's a good looking knife on the face of it, but the more details uh, Carson's going to share with you here, the more impressive it gets. At least to me, for sure. Yeah, the Kihon. Um, this model actually um, is in our line for quite a while in different um, versions. People like it. I mean, the Quaken is all over, but and and the Kihon got not so much attention. Overshadowed so, a little bit. Perhaps. Yeah, exactly. So we we sat down again with Lucas and said, "Hey, what can we do?" Because we always saw the huge potential of that basic design, and I think now we ha we found the right solution. Um, at least the response is huge here at the show um, with the um, GFN scales. So pretty lightweight build, but still full-size knife. And it's still strong too. You've got the yeah. full inset liners there. So exactly. there's plenty of durability or it, plenty of girt. Exactly. Hidden liners um, and the crossbar lock. And now some design, um, you know, um, specs here. Really cool looking knife. Great looking blade shape. The whole concept is now, is there, right? Yeah. So it's ready to take off and it took off already. Again, the, the response is, is just great. Yeah, I mean, the platform's great, the blade right. shape's great. The price point, though, exactly, is we, phenomenal we for this. We were working hard to get at a price point of 42. 42 Four, bucks. Two. Very, very nice. At two digits, so <laughs> 42 price point, exactly. So I'm we are very happy with I'm that. I'm so happy to see more companies coming out with you know, more affordable crossbar locks. Yeah. Sub fifty dollar crossbar locks, and this is 
at that price point, pretty much everything you could ask for. I mean, the blade shape is great. A uh, little bit over three inches there, higher flat grind, unless you need something like a, a big, huge hard use folder, in yeah. which case you probably should be using a fixed blade anyway, <laughs> or, or a tactical <laughs> knife. This could cover any, any bases, yeah. really. Wire pocket clip, and it all comes down to one thing for me. On, a, on any new crossbar lock design, and you guys nailed it, it's the action. Thank you. I mean, the, the action is exactly what you want it to be. And I, and I mean that in like the highest possible praise. It, I mean, look, it does it. Yeah. It's got it there. Are we doing uh, ball bearings in this pivot? Mm -hmm. Looks like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Gosh, th this, is, this is a winner. This is going to be fantastic. And now we're there as a new platform uh, to take off in different variations, you know, it's all there. It's, uh, we can do different blade materials, different handle materials. So yeah. it's all there. Yeah, very, very And at well. a very attractive price point, you have Burnley, you have Boker, you have uh, D2. D2 yeah. and 42 bucks. That's a winner for yeah. sure. All right. Yeah, uh, we don't, well, we have to start with the name. <laughs> Designer Midgard's Knives, um, uh, we work with him on a lot of projects. Um, he's a big Lord of the Ring fan, so that's in, out of this world he takes all the names, but this one I cannot pronounce, so we call it the whatever knife. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, Andriminier. Uh, Andriminier Mini, right. Something like that. Yeah, but we like the knife. And that's we'll, make sure right. to, we'll make sure to get spelling of that as soon as we can. <laughs> Fixed black knife. Um, G10 scales, solid, uh, and different. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, his design language is just different, but people love it, mm -hmm. um, and uh, we like to sell it, so. And that's got such a, a powerful looking blade shape, and the feel when you pick it up is yeah. that exact same word. You have that powerful yeah. feel in the hand. It's solid, full grip, D2, but a little bit thicker very acute piercing point. I mean, that's, you grab that and I just want to go yeah, like this. <laughs> just yeah. pushing through some stuff. <laughs> that's neat. And it comes with a Kydex sheath, sheath here? Exactly. And a belt adapter. Price point $84. So it does include a belt adapter, you of said? Of course, yeah, yeah. always. Yeah. Some, some out there don't always do that, so no, I'm always glad Boker when it does. always yeah. has a yeah. has belt adapter. Yes. Yeah, very cool. Protruding tang here at the back. Yeah, it feels great. It feels really great. I love the way the thumb sits right there. It's just so natural feeling. Yeah. Very nice. All right, next. Yeah, next. Again, a Midgard's design. Um, and the two best-selling knives in the US out of, um, from him are in the Boker line, the draw-in fixed blades. And now we have the draw-in folders, right? Very solid. Um, yeah, that's, really, a, that's a beefy guy for that's sure. That's a beefy guy. Right, also the, um, the clip, right. really interesting design, rock solid knife, but, but you know, you, do, you, don't <coughs> you don't think you have like an like a, um, like X in your hand. It's, it's really a cool, cool fit, fit and finish here. Yeah, there's a beefy yeah. frame lock on yeah. that for sure. I just used the, the same word again, beefy. Stainless steel for the, the frame lock here. Yeah. And let's see. I can do it. I did it earlier <laughs> before the camera was rolling. Uh, and then a drop point and a Tonto on this as well, right? It has a Tonto yes. version as well. Yes, cool. very cool. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it has some of that same kind of beefy feel as yeah. Yeah. that powerful feel as the, the fixed blade, the, uh, yeah. the whatever over here. The whatever. <laughs> <laughs> cool texture on the, the outside of that clip, too. Yeah. Price point 112. Yeah, very 112. nice. It will front flip. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not making it look good. That's, that's not the knife's <laughs> fault. That's my fault. Uh, this one right here um, yeah. is super interesting. Here, let me close it back up and hand it to you. The Sprocket. Um, new designer from Germany. Um, young, young guy, um, but very talented. And we thought this is really different here. You know, I hope the camera can catch that. The gears around the, gears, the pivot. Exactly. Yeah. So we really like that knife. It's different. People like different stuff. So we said, yeah, give it a try. What I like about it for me personally is the folded form factor is so small, right? There's, that's not taking up a ton of space. No pocket clip, but it's yeah. 
fifth pocket in your jeans, watch pocket carry, excellent. And then to open it, you can use this part right here, and you've got a full grip on that blade. Correct. Despite it being this big in your pocket. That is what really, in addition to the, the cool factor, the utility factor of that I find very useful, or very, uh, very impressive, I should say. Yeah, chisel grind, D2. D2 blade, price point 39. Nice. Yep. Yeah, that's so very cool. Non-locking, but your hand is right there, so it's not exactly gonna close on you if something does come loose. That is neat. That is really neat. Yeah, yep. very cool. All right, next up. Yeah, we had a, or we have big success with the Slyke, um, as you probably know, with the dagger blade. And um, here is out of the same um, family, same designer, a nice new design, same mechanism but a different blade shape, you know, but very slim. Is this, uh, to me this looks a lot, a lot like a, a D-Rocket design, is it? Or? It is, yeah. it is. Yeah. Correct. Just like the previous knife, we've got D2 with a chisel grind here, which especially when the blade is exposed like that, it's nice because it keeps the edge from kind of yeah. ri rising up and, uh, and pinching you a little bit. Yeah, that's neat. Very slim, very Same material carry. selection, yeah. D2 blade, G10 scales, a nice uh, deep carry pocket clip. Price point, 60 bucks. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. All right, next up. Tech Tool series, but in a, in a different approach. Um, you know, the Tech Tool is normally black scale and um, as an alternative uh, to the Swiss Army knives with clips, you know, and, and better, better, better blade steel. But now with the Damascus G10 in blue and orange. Mm -hmm. And we think that is pretty attractive. They look really good. So now is each one of these handle colors going to be available with both the Damascus blade and the, the no, Sandvik the, blade? No, the Damascus only with the, uh, with only the blue, on blue one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the, the Sandvik 12C27 available on both? Correct. Yeah, very Absolutely cool. Absolutely correct. Yeah, it's, an, it's always been a neat series. It's always cool to have an alternative to, you know, the giant in the, yeah. uh, of the, of the uh, Victorinox yeah. knives out there for sure. Exactly. Glass breaker, up, up and down, pocket clip, whichever your preference is. Yeah, really good action on them. They nice have a very, walk and talk. Very yeah. nice. No half stop, but a nice smooth yeah. pull the entire way. Full hollow exactly. grind on these. Or no, are they full flat? You know, they're, they're hollow grinds. They're hollow, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Price point uh, 63 on the um, Sandwick, and the Damascus is 113. All right. Um, what flavor of Damascus are we dealing here? Is it like a VG10 Damascus? Yes, or? yes sir. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Well, that's what we have for the Booker Plus stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we've also got some really cool uh, Zollingen made items here. Uh, I guess just four, four that we pulled out. Um, yeah. This one, I think, is... In addition to the, the sprocket, which I just think is cool, and the Kihon, which obviously is, is a hit, yeah. this thing really speaks to me. Yeah. Chuck Kildreides did it again. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a, a great guy, great designer. Um, and here we have the coffin um, out of the Zoling production. Um, the, his design language is just phenomenal. Really small and, 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 and slim. Um, Magna cut blade. Yeah, that's that's the Half thing stop. that puts the cherry, or the cherry that puts it over the top, right? Is that blade Slip steel. joint with a half stop, you yeah. know, very nice. Deep fits carry. into the pocket, deep carry pocket clip. And um, blue Makata scales. I like very seeing happy. this, I like seeing this too, because normally when you think of a, or at least myself, when I think of a Zollingen made slip joint from you guys, it's very traditional. Correct. But and this is definitely not, but it, it still has the same know-how that you guys bring to those classic style traditionals into the modern traditional yeah. here. Yeah. But you will see out of Zollingen production more and more um, modern and innovative stuff. Um, we. We know how to build traditional knives, mm -hmm. I think. Quite well. Um, but um, there's m a lot of requests for modern designs, um, modern materials, so there will be a lot more. No, I like it. Yeah. Um, reversible deep carry clip. Correct. Which is great. It's and a denim micarta is so hard to mm -hmm. do, it seems, sometimes. Yeah. There's a lot of bad, or not so yeah. good, at least, denim out there, but this yeah. does not fall into that category. There's no voids. Yeah. 
the the rag is nicely finished yeah very nice and we think with 125 that's a cool price zoling production magna, magna cut, cut blade, blade. yeah oh yeah check it dry this and boker that should be a cool package i i agree a little bit over three inches on the blade it looks like i don't know what's the centimeter thing ah. over there <laughs> i give it yeah yeah um we saw the uh, the first examples of this knife at SHOT Show earlier this year. Correct. One of my favorites. It looks like there have been a few little changes to it uh, since then. The Trapper. Yes. TRPPR. Sir. The TRPPR, and that confirms exactly what we just mentioned. Um, out of Zulon production, way more modern knives, innovative, modern materials, titanium frame lock here, um, nice action, um, magna cut blade. Is it? it? Says it on the back. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> I'm confused now. Uh, mill titanium clip and nice Makata scales. Yeah, everything about that is yeah. just super premium looking yeah. and feeling, I should say. Yeah, man. Love that. Price point 288. 288. Flips great. Yeah, the, the titanium hat or the whole handle has that nice curve to it. It's not just a flat piece. Everything about that I love. Very, very cool. Nice. Couple Zolingen fixed blades to look at Yes, now. sir. The AK-1, but in a more budget-friendly version. Um, you cannot change here the, the lanyard. Because um, previous versions, you could reverse it so that it sat yeah. inside the tang Correct. or out, so you have the point, but this is fixed. Exactly. Okay. Tantu uh, blade shape, G10 scales. Um, and the rest really um, nice, uh, a nice fixed blade. Uh, what's the steel on these going to be? It's um, the, sorry, N690. N690, and yeah. you mentioned more budget friendly. What, what's Correct. the going the rate? The price on these is 129. 129. Zoling production again. Yeah. Right? Um, other, the other blade shapes, will they be available also, yeah. or just starting out We're with the We're starting tanto? with the Tanto. Okay. Um, and it's a cadet sheath and a belt adapter. Very good. Yeah, fantastic everyday carry fixed blade there. And pocketable too, actually. Yeah. This was, so it's gonna be a kydex sheath? It's yes. not this leather? It's not le this leather. So this is the, the, the leather from the, the previous Correct. versions, basically, so. Correct. All right, next up we've got a new, looks like a yeah. mini version of the Bronco. Exactly. Bronco is really another confirmation that, um, about the modern um, approach um, out of the Zolling production, right? Um, this, you know, the regular Bronco, big hit. Um, great feel in the hand. Great feel yeah. on the hand. Um, same here, but with a shorter blade and different blade uh, material. Um, it's the ADC RV2. It's Good, so tough carbon steel. Correct. Yeah. So we get a better price point here mm -hmm. with uh, 104. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Is it the uh, same exact handle shape as the, uh, the Absolutely. original? Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Good to be able to use the same mold, right, for, <laughs> for Correct. economies of scale there. Correct. Yeah. It's, it's always been a great feeling knife for sure. Three and a half-ish inches, it looks mm -hmm. like. And a crisp spine out here towards the, the front yes. side of it. You can do your fire steel scraping, but not crisp here where your thumb wants to go. So that's Correct. a nice, nice little compromise there. Same specs like on the on the big one. Yeah, protruding tang, a little bit crisp there as well. Yeah, whether you want to use this as a small survival knife, it's also got a good kind of hunting profile mm -hmm. to it. Your hands aren't going to slip. It's a nice small size for that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, do we mention what kind of sheath this is going to yeah, come with? Yeah, it's a Kydex sheath with a belt adapter. Belt adapter. Very good. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, it's cool to see the ADC RV too. I'm used to mm -hmm. seeing that from a lot of like custom guys and custom yeah. makers, but not so much uh, on a production standpoint. So I, I like that. Yeah. All right. All right, so that was it for out of Zoling production. Um, and now Magnum. Um, you know, we, we uh, want to upgrade Magnum, or we, we, we're right in the middle of the process upgrading the Magnum line. Um, you know, own designs, new locking mechanisms, better blade materials, um, just better, better action but still the same good price point. Mm -hmm. um, first in the line is the, the Blue Jay. Um, push button lock. 
nice action, Makata scales, yeah. and at a great price. So uh, we don't have uh, final price they're going to be on Knife Center's site yet, but we do have MSRPs. Yes. Keep in mind, the numbers we're going to say on these are higher than what you're actually going to have to pay for yeah. them. But 36 is the MSRP. All right, very cool. Yeah, fairly deep carry clip, button lock, flipper. Yeah, not too bad at all. 440A for that. Uh, that kind of price, again, we're probably looking at 25 to $28. I'm very, very guessing here, very ballparking. So that's not too yeah. bad, yeah. considering you get uh, that style of button lock for sure. Exactly. Same concept, um, border first folder, Micada scales, um, push button lock, um, same blade material, you know, deep carry pocket clip, almost deep carry po pocket clip. Yeah. Um, yeah, good price point here. Um, yeah. $44. MSRP. MSRP, yeah. MSRP retail, it, so it will be less. Yeah, and the blade shapes yeah. are really nice too. Yeah. They've got you know, just a, a great everyday usefulness to them. This one has a little bit more girth in the hand than the Blue Jay, I yeah, would say. Correct. So if you need, want that little, that, that slightly more beefy feel. Yeah. I gotta stop saying beefy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very nice. And then yeah, the, the Rock Stub. The Rock Stub. Yeah, two versions here. First with the Brahma Kata, um, crossbar lock. Yeah, the action is phenomenal. Again, we're talking Magnum here. MSRP on these? Uh, 41.95. So, wow. I mean, that's. So, so be, we'll be below 40. The action is exactly right. I mean, that is everything you want a good crossbar lock action to be at that kind of price is insane, quite honestly. Yeah. I am so happy about that. 440B steel, uh, sub, definitely sub three inches, uh, about mm -hmm. two and three quarters or so. Yeah. 2.6. I'm in centimeters. 6.7 centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> I will never learn the interest. <laughs> That's quite all right. That's quite all right. We're, we are the outliers yeah. here, not, not you. It's got a three finger grip for me. And it's interesting because it's you've got two finger grooves and space for two more. For me, it's, it's three fingers. But these are gentle enough. It's not a problem for yeah. me. It doesn't, it's not pinching me. Still works great. Yeah. Very deep carry clip right there, non reversible. The action's wonderful. Yeah. The action's fantastic. And so is the one of the last model, Rockstab um, Blue Alox. Um, same concept here, same price point. A um, little bit more shiny, but on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it doesn't hurt uh, for this type of knife. Yeah, that's, that's very cool. Stonewashed blade here. Really, like, whenever I see, like, a crossbar, like, that's the first the first barrier to mm -hmm. entry, the first thing I know. you got to get right, and you guys nailed it. Yeah. And the fact that you nailed it at the price point you're doing it in is, the Magnum line is impressive. Yeah. yeah so just, that will help the whole line. And just a great little blade shape. Yeah. Great everyday carry for sure. Very nice indeed. Thank you. Well, that's all we've got to show for now. Uh, we'll make sure to link you over to the Boker page on the Knife Center's website. This stuff is uh, not going to be there just yet. Uh, I'm sure it hasn't been added uh, by the time this video is going up, but should be arriving, like I said, in the next few months. Uh, we're at the beginning of June right now, August, September. Correct. Thereabouts. Uh, we can't get more specific than that because you know how things are these days. Um, Carson, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate you showing yeah. us this stuff. Thanks. Keep watching the rest of our Blade Show coverage. Thanks, everyone.